So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I bring you the location of every katana in this game. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so there are 8 katanas in the entire game and today guys, I bring you guides to each and every one. So let's get into it. First up guys, we have the Uchi Katana. This is a weapon that scales with strength and dexterity and requires 11 strength and 15 in that dexterity. The weapon itself causes that blood loss build up a standard stat of 45 and can also be infused with Ashes of War. Now the moveset you can see on screen now. A pretty cool weapon, I'm not gonna lie, one of my fave early game weapons for sure. So how do you get this thing? Well guys, like I said, it's an early game weapon. It can be found inside the Death Touch catacombs seen right here on the map. So come to this point guys, follow the path I take into this cave, into this catacombs and just grab this weapon. It really is that simple. Next up people we have the Nagakiba, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I probably ain't. This weapon also scales with strength and dexterity, it requires 18 strength and 22 in that dexterity. This is also a weapon that causes that blood loss build up, standard stat 45 and can also be infused with ashes of war. The moveset you're seeing on screen now. So where do you actually get this weapon? Now I won't lie to you, I progressed way past the quest line in getting this thing initially but i went back to the first point in which you'll meet this npc bloody finger hunter yura to the north of the murk water cave as you can see on screen now now bloody finger hunter yura does have a quest line a quest line which is started at the second church of mocha allowing you to also obtain go on and obtain the eleonora's pole blade as well as the purifying crystal tear the second church of America can be seen on the screen right here guys. Now if you've progressed too far like I did, the weapon can be found at one of the prior locations you would have met Yura. They are Yura's camp northeast of the seaside room inside of Grace, seen on the screen right here. Or at the underpass below the Mert Water Course site of Grace. Or on the edge of the bridge a little away from the main academy gate side of Grace. Because what happens is guys, if you progress too far on, not doing any quest line associated with Yura, his body is taken by Shibiri. Because for me guys, I never actually saw this bloody finger hunter Yura, or his quest line. But what I did do within the mountain tops of the giants when I first got there, I killed an NPC leading up the rock. 
Ronin aka Shibiriri. Upon me killing him, I got the Ronin armor set, which is pretty cool. This for me as far as I'm aware, initiate the process of me having this katana in the spot you saw me pick it up from. So there are a few different ways in how you can get this weapon. There's a few different scenarios in where the weapon may be for you, but hopefully I've covered all of them today. If I haven't, please someone let the world know down below in that comment section. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Serpent Bomb Blade Katana. One of my favorites, if I'm honest with you. So this is a weapon that scales with strength and dexterity, required 11 strength and 22 in that dexterity. It offers that poison build up with its weapon skill called double slash and you can see its moveset on screen now. So this weapon is actually a reward for completing the second letter quest in Volcano Manor from the NPC Tanif, as you can see right here on the map. When you come here guys and meet this NPC, she gives you a couple of letters for you to go out and kill certain NPCs you have to summon. Upon you killing the second NPC, showcase you within the second letter. Upon returning to Tanif, she will reward you the Serpent Bone Blade Katana. And it really is that simple guys. Next up guys, we have the Meteoric Aura Blade. This one scales with strength, dexterity and intellect. Required stats are 15 strength, 14 in dexterity and 18 in that intellect. Now this weapon causes a blood loss buildup, standard stat of 50 and its weapon skill is Gravitus. So this is a weapon you can simply run and grab. It's located within a ruins. More precisely, the Carried Waypoint ruins, seen right here on the map. So go to any grace point in this area guys, use the one I've used as you're seeing on screen now and follow the path I take down into these ruins guys. You can run through the enemies or take them out, you'll have to open a door, within the door will be a chest, within the chest will be this katana. And it really is that simple people. Next up guys, we have the Moon Veil Katana, a fan favorite. So this is a weapon that scales with strength, dexterity and intellect. Required stats are 12 in strength, 18 in dexterity and 23 in that intellect. This weapon causes a blood loss buildup, standard stat of 50. Now the weapon skill is Transient Moonlight, where you basically hold the weapon at your hip, follow up with either a normal or strong attack, granting two amazing and very potent attacks, firing off waves of light, pretty cool. So where is this weapon obtained? So you get this weapon for defeating the magma worm located in the jail tunnel within Kellid, as you can see on screen here. So come here guys, travel your way through, defeat the magma worm and you'll be rewarded this amazing moon veil katana. Next up people, we have probably the most popular weapon in the game, the Rivers of Blood. So the Rivers of Blood scales with strength, dexterity and arcane. Uh, attributes required are 12 in strength, 18 in dexterity and 20 in the arcane. This weapon causes a blood loss build up with a standard stat of 52. The weapon skill is Corpse Piler, 
absolutely brutal people it really is okay so where is this weapon obtained well it's dropped from a npc that spawns in called bloody finger okina now okina will invade you near the church of repose within the mountain tops of the giants as you can see right here on the map now i think it's post 1.3 or 1.04 the patches if you'd already progressed on and defeated the fire giant and moved on to the dragon temple before you'd actually fought and defeated bloody finger okina at the church repose he wouldn't actually spawn for you if you went back but they fixed that guys so you can now go here at any time defeat the bloody finger okina and get this amazing katana right now one of the best weapons in this game Next up guys, we have the Dragon Scale Blade. So this is a weapon that scales with strength and dexterity. Attributes required are 12 in strength and 20 in that dexterity. Now the weapon's weapon skill is Ice Lightning Sword, looking pretty cool. So where do you get this weapon guys? Well, it drops from the Dragon King Soldier within the Lake of Rot. This is in the Yainsu River area. Now to explain exactly how you do this, in this video will take me an extra 10 minutes but there are a few ways and a few quest lines which will bring you down here mainly Rani's quest line but that's not needed to actually get to this area so if you want a full guide on this weapon guys if it's a weapon you're missing and you want to collect them all i'll link a video in the video description explaining every single detail you need to do to get down to here to fight this boss and get this dragon scale blade katana because it's really worth it Okay, so lastly guys, we have the Hand of Millennia. Now this is a weapon that scales with strength and dexterity. Attributes required are 16 in strength and 48 in that dexterity. Now this is a weapon that causes that blood loss buildup. Standard stat of 50. Its weapon skill is Waterfowl Dance. Absolutely amazing. So where do you get this weapon? Well guys, this is a weapon that drops from Millennia herself. Well actually don't drop from Millennia. Upon you killing her, you take her remembrance to the round table and you can cash it in for this amazing weapon. Now, Melania is located right at the top of the map, true endgame boss within the Halig Tree area. Now, again, like the last weapon, if I was explain to you exactly how you get all the way up here, guys, for people that don't know, it would take me probably 10 to 15 minutes because it's quite a trek and it's quite a grind to get up here. So, again, guys, I will link a full guide within the video description of exactly every step you need to do to get up here and to defeat millennia but to quickly run you through it guys you firstly have to get the dectus medallion to gain access to the capital area uh, which a simple guide look on youtube people there's there's millions of them uh, so once you have the dectus medallion guys you have to come through the capital and clear this completely out that means taking out godfrey and the omen king Upon you doing this guys, you will then gain access to the Forbidden Lands. And upon here, you'll gain access to the Grand Lift of Road. You'll get the Road Medallion upon you defeating the Omen King. That will give you access to the Mountain Tops of the Giants. Now, within the Mountain Tops of the Giants, is one half of another medallion you'll need. The Halley Tree Medallion. That comes from a boss called Commander Nile. Well, upon you defeating the boss, who's located at Castle Soul, you can then go up to the rooftop and grab this medallion. The other half of this medallion comes from an NPC down here within the village of the Albinox. Upon you coming here guys from this grace point, follow this path I take on screen now up to this dude hiding in a basket. Hit the basket with your fist and then clear out his dialogue. He will give you the other half of the Halley Tree medallion. Then guys go back to the Grand Lift of Road. Press left or right on your d-pad and access the area of the hidden path to the Halic Tree. From here guys you need to travel north to the Ordina liturgical town. Once you land here guys you need to enter an ever jail. Within this ever jail you need to light four candles. Upon you doing this guys and you'll be teleported back uh, to your normal reality and you'll then gain access to a portal located at the top of these stairs. Go through the port guys and you'll end up at the Halley Tree Canopy, the starting point of the Halley Tree area. Then guys, you need to make your way all the way down 
two millennia, the goddess of rot. Defeat her guys and you'll get the hand of millennia. It really is that simple. Well, I say it's simple, it really ain't. It's a mission. But there we have it guys. That is how you get all eight katanas in Elden Ring. Now guys, I do plan on bringing you full guides of every different type of weapon in this game. I'm in the process of collecting them all. Once I have all of a certain specific weapon type, I'll bring you a complete guide on said weapon type and how you can get every single weapon in that class. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.